be talking the topic about the influence and controversy of um, Mattel's um, Barbie doll. Um, there's a lot of criticism of Barbie, um, how um, a lot of females like think of it as a role model or not, but they um, um her image or like copy her image. So my pro proposition today is like Barbie's not, or I me. Mean, Barbie is a bad role model in females because it causes eating disorders, insecurity, and this uh, distorted self mutilation. So my first claim: um, Barbie causes eating disorders. So many like individuals they want the same body as like as Barbie, and so this causes like eating disorders with them trying not to eat or trying to throw up all the food. Um, so, Aaron viewers, he, he claimed that, um, or he stated, one of the Barbies that was released in 1965, it's called the Slumber Party Barbie, and to, it was with um, an accessory of um, um, a, scaled, a scale that um, was permanently set as 110 pounds, and a book that said how to weight, how to lose weight. And the instructions, it said, don't eat. Um, and then the human, um, the human Barbie, um, known as Valeria, okay, Yanra, um, she, she, she spent all her time, um, trying to look like a Barbie and she she wanted to be a veterinarian which only consumes she wants to consume light and air. So um, Anna Sova had interviewed her and asked her how did you um, keep this image and she said that um, by eating less and trying to consume light and air. So since I talked about um, how Barbie causes eating disorders, now I will talk about how it causes insecurity. Uh, many insecurity relates to um, uh, many um, how many individuals want are insecure about their own body. And the the article from Epidemic of Body Hatred um, showed. A statistics of four out of five 10 years 10 year old children were afraid of being fat so that will show their insecurity of their own skin according to um, a study experiment from Endel they had about 117 girls about six <coughs> through 10 years old so this was like a psychological experiment in the UK of 2006. Um, so with these 117 girls, they were exposed with Barbie, um, Ema, or no doll. So Ema was basically an average um, American doll. And the results with the, the children that had the Barbie were playing with the Barbie doll, they have lack of self-esteem and insecurity of eating normally. So now I will talk about the cause, um, Barbie's cause of distorted self-mutilation. There's the statistics of cos uh, cosmetic surgery in the 2013. There was over 1,300,000 57,275 um, total in cosmetic surgery procedures. The top uh, procedures were um, breast, nose, and eyeless surgery. Examples of uh, venals that were influenced in Barbie and had that surgery. It's from an article, uh, Cindy, Cindy Jackson, she took 20 operations worth $55,000 to, um, to change her look into Barbie. 
And then another article from Clean Mastery about an article about Sarah Borch. Oh, these names. Okay. Um, she spent about 5,000 pounds, 500,000 pounds, which means um, $83,000. $905 in surgery. And for her daughter, she gave, um, every year she gives her daughter a voucher um, worth money for surgery. So when she's 18 years old, she can vouch her that and cash it in. So now my conclusion, we, sh we should understand how the media and um, advertisement impacts uh, many um, exposes of unrealistic and misleading knowledge of what is perfect or beautiful. So, to reclaim, we state by proposition, I think Barbie is a bad role model in females because it causes eating disorders, insecurity, and distorted self mutilation. The, the more time we spend with anything, the more influence it has on us. If we spend hours and hours playing with Barbie dolls, they are bound to have an influence on us. Thank you. All right, uh, I think you give us a little bit of background to try and create some sense of controversy on the issue. Uh, the proposition, the way you've got it phrased, includes the preview, so that's a little awkward, and you generally want a covering statement to begin with, and then use the secondary points as the uh, structure, which is basically what you do, but the phrasing of it, like I said, makes it all sound like it's three claims instead of a single claim that those three claims then prove. Um, the signposts in the body of the speech are relatively clear, although the phrasing on those needs to be a little bit sharper. The first point, though, the, you've got an example that you're citing, the human Barbie, uh, Valerie, whatever her name is. Apparently, we're going to have trouble with all of the names. So if I didn't remember the names, you can't yell at me either. Uh, you know, I, the idea that that's going to be something that you can generalize from, I think, is a little bit problematic. Uh, you've got an example of a Barbie from 1965, or, so this is 50 years ago that we're talking about, uh, that had a, uh, a scale and a book with a basically a joke in it, and that's the basis for believing that Barbie is having an influence on eating disorders or uh, overemphasis on weight. That seems to me to be a very thin basis for making an inference. Um, there, the, there is a statistic in a, a later point here talking about the insecurity of kids, and you mentioned you know four out of five kids, ten year olds are afraid of be, you know being fat, that sort of thing. I got to be perfectly honest with you. The way I hear about the world nowadays, four out of five kids should be afraid of being fat. I thought we had an o epidemic of obesity out there. Maybe the answer to that is to give out more Barbies instead of cutting off the McDonald's. Ah, uh, you know so. There, there's, there's, a, there's an issue here, a legitimate issue that you're talking about, but the, you need to connect that a lot more effectively with some evidence. There's a whole world of people out there, scholarship in this particular field, uh, that talks about these kinds of issues, and I think that you needed to discover it a little bit more. I think you've got some random examples here instead of the in-depth examples that might allow this argument to be uh, somewhat sustainable. 
the the notion of, when you get to the point on self mutilation, you've got statistics about plastic surgery, but I don't know anything that connects them to Barbies except for the one who ha who's this uh, person who's you know trying to become Barbie, uh, another one of those names that you talked about that's going on there. And then the story about the mother who's giving her daughter vouchers, I'm not exactly sure if that's tied into a Barbie experience or not. If the vouchers come in a box with a Barbie, I could see that that would be something that's going on there. But even then, out of, I forget what the number of uh, plastic surgeries that you mentioned each year are, you've got two examples that, ha that directly tie into, or one that ties directly into Barbie and one that may or may not tie into Barbie. And again, I'm just trying to figure out, you know, how do we get this connection that kids playing with Barbies, by the way, all those cosmetic surgeries, did that distinguish between men and women? Because that would be another question that suddenly pops into my mind. Now, I'm not saying that guys don't play with Barbies, they probably do. They just don't tell anybody about it because that would be kind of creepy, you know. <laughs> uh, I, see, they don't dress Barbie up. They probably undress Barbie. That's, <laughs> that, that's the way kids do that. But, you know, if they're ones getting plastic surgeries too, I don't know. That's one of those things where you're just taking a general number about plastic surgery and then applying it in this context, and we need something that links those things together a little bit more effectively. I did appreciate that you did, as many people did, and as I've asked folks to do, when you come back at the end and you're doing the summary, remind us of what the points were that you're trying to make and how they support your point. And even at the end, if there's criticism of the evidence that's going on, at least we know how you're trying to make that argument, and that gives you one last chance of influencing people. And you did do that. Thank you. <laughs>